In this Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the manufacturer workspace and multiple tool paths so you can order the cuts on a laser cutter. For example, on a laser cutter, we want to cut out these sections on the interior of our piece first before we cut out the exterior. To do that, when we make our setup, we want to make sure that we use multiple tool paths. I'll show you how to do that. First, click Setup, New Setup. Then we select our model, and it's going to be these pieces right here. Make sure the Z axis is pointed up, select OK. Then I make a new cutting operation, 2D profile. I select my tool, this time it'll be a laser cutter. Then on the geometry tab, this is the important part. By default, it will select all loops. If I click on this face, then Fusion 360 selects everything, including the inside and the outside. You can click on the outside, but sometimes it's unpredictable. So an easy way to do this is first click inner loops. Then I can just click these pieces and notice that Fusion 360 only selects the inner loops. I press OK. Then I go ahead and make a new 2D profile and I select the geometry. And now instead of all loops, because if I click all loops, I'm going to cut these inner pieces twice. So I don't want to do that. I want to click outer loops. Then I can click this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And now it'll only cut the outer loops. So if I play the simulation, you'll notice that it's going to cut all the little pieces on the inside first. This is great because this is great because we've made two tool paths in Fusion 360 and we can order them to be cut in the preferred order on the laser cutter. See, now it's cutting out the outside profile after it's cut the interior profiles. I'm going to close this. When we post our process, make sure you click DXF. And then the important part is don't include the drill. Make sure the only cutting checkbox is clicked. And then this one right here is the magic. Put operations in separate layers. If I check this, then I'll have two different layers that I can change the color of, then separate by color on my laser cutter and decide which order I want things cut in. So hopefully by using inner and outer loops in the Fusion 360 geometry tab, we can make multiple profiles very quickly and then cut them in the right order on the laser cutter. Happy fabricating.